And tell me more more broadly then about um, about yourself as a business owner. What what would you say? What would you say has been your biggest learning since you've been in business? Well, I think I've been in business a long time. Um, I went self-employed um, in 2005. Um, I think that control and relinquishing control has been a, would have been a big learning curve for me. I was always, I was always would have been on, on my own as a business owner. I would have been an agent for a number of companies. I would have, you know, gone out and sold anything from roof tiles to supplements to you know, you name it, would have done it. Um, yeah. But it was always just me, myself, and I. Whenever you get into a bigger fish, like what this is, it's it's learning to trust the people around you. Yeah. You know, whether, whether it's your business partner or whether it's, you know, your staff that work for you. Um, to relinquish that control is was a big thing for me because I was always a bit of a control freak. Um, you pay the people for a reason, so you have to trust them to get on with their jobs. Um, You know, it, yes, I, I understand what you're saying, and it's, um, you know, it's, when you become outnumbered in your own company, it's, it takes yeah. on a different dynamic. But what, um, what's what been the benefit of relinquishing that control? Well, you know, again, you, you're, you're, you're paying for people's expertise. Yeah. You're, that's what their, and, and their life journey and what they have learned in their, in their business life. So, I mean, ultimately that's what you, you learn. You learn from them. You learn to take in what they have done because everybody's done stuff differently from you. That you're not perfect and you know problem have is a problem shared you know problem shared a problem have sorry you know as yeah. well so that, that definitely that definitely if you can embrace that then it's it's great because you know that's again that's why you pay these people that's why you bring them in that's why you interview them you interview them to bring you know you know benefits to your company and, and what about um when you when you've brought people in and the, their expertise and that sort of language control is that more around, would you say, like an open mindset, having the open mind to, to allow people in and take that control? Yeah, I mean, there's there's different types of people within a business. And, you know, they've, if you you've, you've the doers and the, the donters or whatever you want to call them, yeah. you mean, people who are forward thinking, you're the entrepreneur yeah. side of somebody who goes, what's next? Where are we going? Let's yes. keep going. Let's keep pushing forward. Then you've got, you know, the other aspect of people who work for you who just want to manage their little bubble. Yeah, and actually, they, they so they don't necessarily want the company to progress. They just want to sort out what's on their desk in a day and yes. move it on. So I think it's 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 about surrounding yourself with all those uh, those facets and what they bring to the table. So yeah. it's okay to push forward, but it's also very important to look at how you today. do things today, how you do things in a warehouse, how you stock control, et cetera, et cetera. Because yeah. being a sales guy, I would always go, let's go on to the next one, let's go on to the next one. So. I've had to learn aspects of the business that I never thought I would have. Yeah. So let's just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. But ultimately, you have to learn everything when you're the owner. And yes. Trust people's decision and, and listen to them around a the table and go, okay, maybe my idea wasn't the sound. Yeah. yeah. You know? So, yeah. Um, and what, what, so what do you think you've learned about yourself then? Well, that, to, to yeah. relinquish that side of you know control there would have been a time where i would you know taking time off from work very find very difficult and still would you know mm. but i have a business partner in this in this company and he you know it's just it's sort of like relinquishing that control to him and going no i can't cover off everything so that's what i've learned about myself really through all so, so it's interesting and i i, I totally empathize but to keep that time out which is totally necessary, but it's so difficult. It's it's brutal, you know, but that's why being a business owner isn't for everyone. That's mm -hmm. why, you know, you go to bed with a lot of worry, more yeah. worry than you'll, you, you know, whenever you were, I was a sales guy or it was just me, myself and I, I didn't worry so much. I know it would always be okay, but ultimately you go to, the, you go to bed with a worry of, you know, staff and, you know, making sure they're all okay and, you know, cash flow and just all the different facets of owning a business. You know, so you have to be, you have to be willing and able to take those on your shoulders. Otherwise, it's maybe you know, it's maybe not right for people. You know, if if you were to if you were to um, start your business again, is there anything you would have done differently? Yeah, I mean, I came from my dad was self employed and he he was a great guy. We weren't wealthy by any means, but he he. Um, very trustworthy man and I would be too probably too much and 
ultimately, for those starting out in business, I would say not one or two things. Do don't leave your don't leave your daytime job for your on a whim. Mm. So if you're going to be a business, do so. I always used to say, do something that pays you an extra ten grand a year, and then if you can make that more and more, then eventually leave your job and go and do that full time. Yeah, I think that because people people do things they they turn their hobby into a business and then they lose the love of it because they don't make money. Yeah. Um, I think ultimately make sure you do everything by the book and make sure you get, you take great and good legal advice because I, I you can get caught out by that. So you can go into business yeah. with a friend or a partner and we all know what happens whenever some money comes in and business might not go the way it is. It all turns to, to mush. Sure. So I made sure we have in this business and any business I do, we you make sure that your legals are 100% correct. And yeah. your business partner should agree with that, you know, or people yeah. should agree with that because then like it makes you, it just gives you that feeling of uh, safety really. Yeah. And um, it sounds, it, yeah, it sounds like it's very practical. Um, and uh, People don't like to hear that. Yeah. But it's the truth, got, isn't it? Get it written it, down. It, you've got to, you know, whenever I bought this business, I bought it with a, with a, with a, with a, with a partner of mine who I've known since school. He, um, he had never been self-employed, so didn't know how it worked. I've, been there done that and i was very much you know the legals must be correct everything must be right so as we know where we stand as a partnership going forward yeah you know? yeah just uh, it saves a lot of time in the long run i'm sure yeah it just it does it does, <laughs> it does. I'm, not, I'm not trying to put anybody off but you know you're 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 just trying to make sure that you're on the correct side of everything yeah because yeah. nobody knows what the future holds and it's all very it's all very rosy and we're best friends or we're this or that but you yeah. know if you have a good legal good legal team behind you whenever you're doing your you're setting out in business for sure. Well, Rob, thank you so much for for getting involved. Okay. Really enjoyed it. Um, excited to see where the where your own brand goes for you in the next few years. Yeah. Um, and uh, thank you for for taking the time out. No problem. Thank you.